Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to walk you guys through one of the fastest and best ways to get really solid, solid loot before gear score 600 and also up your watermark gear score very very quickly with this method uh, a lot of you guys probably have done things like this whether it's in Merc guard whether it's in scorched mines if you're level 60 however this is definitely one of my favorites and you know it's because you're going to constantly get purples you're going to constantly get that high gear score it seems like the drop tables on these two mobs that we're about to kill is absolutely insane i've gotten i think three legendary parts in the span of two hours which by the way if you didn't know legendary parts are typically very hard to get so what we're doing right now is running through the south side of Reekwater. And I'll show you guys here a map in a second. What you're going to want to do is definitely put a uh, tent down right outside the front in case anyone dies. You're going to want a proper tank and a proper healer with, you know, some DPS as well. And you can see that here in Reekwater. We're going to be running up this little ramp right there on the, uh, you know, like I said, on the map. You can see that we're going to be running up this ramp, taking out mobs along the way. Because there is going to be a boss up here that we're going to be able to farm very, very quickly and efficiently. As well as a named mob that can drop some great great like I said purples blues and you know sometimes you'll get a green but mostly like I said purples and blues and then also legendary parts but the cool thing about this guys is you're going to be able to get your watermark your score watermark up very very quickly from this because they're pretty great drops and constantly and consistently great drops so I want to show you guys that here in this run and I'm going to show you how to do it first and then I'll show you some of the great drops that we got so First off, you're still just running across this, you know, Reekwater area. It's kind of the pirate zone. If you guys have ever done the pirates in Reekwater, um, this is just a kind of a way not to really cheese it, but to, you know, do it very efficiently. Because in reality, we're killing everything we see, but there is a jump that you're going to need to actually accomplish to make sure you get that amazing loot from one of the named monsters. So we're going to show you here in just a second as we kill the mobs to get up to the top. By the way, once you kill these mobs, you'll never have to kill them again, really. So um, just remember that unless you want to come back down later on. But typically you can just recall from up here and you're good to go. So here we're coming up close to the gate and you can see that gate behind that gate is a boss. You also can see a grenade in the top left of my screen. If you can see the grenade kind of throwing, well, let's see, there we go. In the top left of my screen is your grenade. The big thing you're going to want to do here is have, if you have two groups, you have one person designated on both sides to actually shoot that mob probably once or twice each and make sure to get that kill, uh, you know, really XP as well as the loot to drop for both groups because that's a big deal obviously if one group gets it and the others doesn't uh you know you're not gonna have too many happy players with you but this is one that i learned with my company yeah. sentinel so thank you for them yeah. for showing me this one but you can see i got a purple drop off that and you'll pretty much get a purple drop it seems like eight times out of ten at the very least i've gotten insane 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 amount of purple drops from them so then you're going to want to run past this boss and i know we talked about killing the boss and that's going to be the next step but you do not want to kill it quite yet so you want to run past this boss and as we jump over to this you know other clip it's actually going to show us running through this really not maze but little jump area so there's going to be a jump that we're going to have to actually jump through and then you continue to run over here across the rocks and jump up a little small rock here on the side the left side You'll jump up there. You'll see me and Boats both doing it. Jump over here, and I'm angling myself the wrong way, so you'll see I angle myself more to the left with my camera, and there you go. We have it. And uh, from here, it's actually fairly easy as well. You just need to... This is probably the hardest part of it, but it's fairly easy as well. You just jump over and hold the D and W really W and D. So you stay on the, like, you know, running forward and to the right. When you do this, you can see everyone else kind of making it happen real quickly. And if your group gets good at this, you can do this very, very quickly. From here, uh, you'll actually see a mistake. And I, I recorded this specifically so you guys could understand what not to do. So you'll see that I kind of just AFK here, right? I haven't attacked anything in a while. We killed the boss, but I'm not attacking. I'm not doing any damage. So I will not get credit for this next kill if I'm doing this. Um, so you can see those mobs down there on the top right of my screen. Those are the mobs you should be every once in a while. I'm talking like every 15 30 seconds probably giving them an auto attack maybe throw an ability at them just so you have damage down in the most recent couple of minutes because if you don't you actually won't be a part of the next drop and you won't get any experience and that's well uh, kind of where you'll know you messed up so here you can see the boss just spawned they're not really a boss but the grenader that has a great drop table so steam buns our group uh, our group's designated guy for hitting him hits him dark lord hits him a little bit and then we have uh, you know, have us finish him off. So we finish him off. Everyone gets loot besides me because, oh, you know, I think there was a couple of us that actually didn't get loot because we didn't know about or we kind of forgot about the idea that you had to do some damage recently. But so you can see that there is some great gear that is dropped here. So I'm going to show you guys just a few of them. I think I hover over them. So we have the Mixer's Hat, which is a pretty solid one as well. Um, this is a 500 gear score, tier 5. Obviously, it's 500 gear score because it's the jewel crafter one which actually gives you plus two quality which is fairly solid that definitely sells for a little bit on the training post right now and then ren fangs posts one that's called petrified fire which is a 
fire staff legendary part, which is absolutely huge. You know, I, I do obviously want those legendary parts. And this was just one random run that, you know, one of us got a legendary, one of us got purple. I think everyone else got purple, so they just probably weren't insane. So they kind of didn't link them. Um, that's one thing we started doing later on is we just linked all of our purples, which is basically, like I said, every single kill, just to uh, see if anyone else needed them. So then the boss comes back, and I kind of want to show you guys this boss fight and just show you how easy it is. You know, I think we have, what, 9 to 10 people probably, so this is very, very simple with 9 to 10 people. Um, but you can also see that every time, you know, the boss spawns, it comes with a different affix. So you can see the affixes right now being lightning resistance and, uh, what's the other one? Shattering. So you just got to pay attention to that. Change your weapons based on that if you want to do more damage. But one thing I should be doing right now is right. So you can see the boss has stamina. So I should be using my CC abilities on my hammer, like shockwave and path of destiny to make that stamina bar go down very, very quickly. And I also have, I believe it's called like the Warbreaker, which is a 570 gear score Warhammer I got from a quest a while back. I think it was one of the main quests. And it actually applies a rend when I use my shockwave on top of an enemy. So if I'm doing this smart and not completely on autopilot, I'll do what I just did there. Run up, use it on the stamina bar, also applying rend and speeding up this kill altogether. But you guys should be able to see how good this loot table actually is. Every, you know, two to three minutes, you're getting a purple or a legendary part for the most part. Uh, you know, sometimes, like I said, I got one green, I believe, and one blue. And then probably eight purples and two legendary parts, something like that. It was unbelievable how fast we did these. Uh, it was a lot of great loot. You know, like I said, you upgrade your gear score watermark as well. So I actually went from, uh, I believe, about 548 to about 558. So about 10 there. You can see I got a purple, so I'm looking at my purple. It was Har Harbinger or Harbinger of Evil, which, by the way, these have some great, great passes on them. So it reduces max cooldowns by 2.6%. And you can also see, um, you know, a couple more. So more people got some great purples. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the, the quality that you can get with the Harbinger set that is continuing to drop from this boss. So if I look at Hazel's here, you can see that the weakened disease and exhaust and rend expire 4.6% faster, which is very, very strong. Definitely in Wars Outpost Rush, where those things are applied quite often, it's going to be nice to have those expire a little bit quicker. And also that, you know, kind of not really cooldown reduction, but you get the idea. These are some strong pieces of gear, and they are always going to drop like that. They're always going to drop, um, you know, with that kind of purple perk to it. And, you know, a cool thing about this as well is you can actually take some of these mobs out while you're waiting for the, uh, you know, the grenade to spawn on the other side. Typically, we just run over there, but since these spawned kind of right in front of us, we're just killing them real quickly. And, you know, these can drop loot as well, and it's not, it doesn't hurt the weapon XP as, you know, Everyone needs their weapon XP at this point. Nobody has all level 20 weapons. So you can see we get these kills. We're going to do this jump one more time to kind of show you guys. I think I kind of paused during this run, but um, I was kind of at this point interested to see if we should kill these guys as well, just because, you know, it's just weapon XP. Why not, right? So we do start killing these a little bit as well. Um, but I do end up showing you guys, like I said, I end up showing you guys the jump that we do here in a second, with the loot that we get from the next grenader. And if you guys kind of understand the gist of it at this point, then you should be good to actually go in the open world in Requater, that south area, like I said, that location that uh, is going to give you some great loot. All right, so you guys can see that we're still running through here trying to get to that purple drop. I think I AFK just for a second, so I skipped that part of the video. But, you know, you can actually jump over here on this right side of the rock. You can run over here. I was testing to see if you could jump up to that window. By the way, you cannot. Uh, so that we jump over here to this side. We jump out this window. We do the typical jump, right? And they already got the kill, I believe, over there. Um, and that's why that gate has exploded. The boss is back. And uh, so we're going to make this jump myself. Um, if I walk down there, there we go. We walk down there. We jump back up jump up here and it is a purple you can see the purple so you know you can see that this spawn rate of purples here is just unbelievable and they're always fairly high gear score for me so 550 is what you'll see on that one um, and it's got the same perks like i said the weakened disease exhaust rend expire 4.6 percent faster and reduces max cooldowns by 2.6 percent which is a fairly decent item you know fairly good perks for you know high gear score gear that i will probably be using for quite some time so I do end up leaking it to just kind of show that I'm at 550 and just showing off the purples a little bit. I'll probably show you guys the rest of this kill. I don't know how clean this kill is or how dirty it is, but uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm not going to show all the kills. You know, we did this for probably two plus hours, three plus hours. So there's a lot of great legendary parts that drop for people, a lot of great purples. Um, so if you want to check out this way of doing some gear score runs, getting some great gear along the way, make sure to definitely do it. I think it's going to be one of the best ways to actually get the great gear score consistently once those elite chests are, you know, on cooldown for that 23 hour period that we all know about. So Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.